Mbele kia kaha kia mai kia mano nui kia kato. Mehi nui kia kato e kei toa i te kapapa nei. Hei after to wa to waka o hei mehi nui kia kato. So just um, congratulations to those who are receiving the acknowledgements um, during this assembly, and I hope you all enjoy. Not any kauri and tupuni nui. Kupa no ro, hoya no kura o umusta ni kene wa mau ni wole kia ta. Kau. Me tui mo te wai ta. I've been very proud of the way that half of you presented your learning on Tuesday. The showcase epitomised what we want to see at Ormiston. You taking control of what you were learning and making it your own. All the staff were wrapped to see your presentations, your displays, your explanations. And I was impressed that when you weren't <coughs> presenting, you were interested in hearing and seeing the work of other students. You were respectful and curious. For the half of you that were here, that was a very good day. This year, you've gained some credits and you've been set up well to enter Year 12. Along with Level 1 Literacy and Numeracy credits, Many of, many of you have more than 10 level credit to level 2 credits already. This will make next year so much more manageable and also give you the opportunity to stretch yourselves further by maybe even trying some level 3 standards. This has been the first year that we've not offered a full level 1 course. And while we think the year has been successful for you, It'll be the end of next year that we, when we find out how many of you gain NCA Level 2, that success can be measured. We are very hopeful of high results this time next year. Today we meet together for the last time for 2019. 
And for four of our staff, this is their last Ormiston assembly. We are sad to be farewelling four teachers who've been an influence for good in your lives. Ms. Batoe, Mrs. Code, Mrs. Sneddon, and Mr. Chanda Kay. Ms. Batoe came to us during this year and immediately threw herself into the English department with great, with great gusto, really getting on board with the way we were learning here and also being an excellent LA. Mrs. Code has been with us for four years, also in English, and is a, brings a, brought a wealth of knowledge to the school. She's been a vital part of our English department for these four years, and also for the wider part of the school where she's managed football teams, girls and boys, she's been involved in International Week, and she's helped with debating amongst other things. We're sad to see her go also. Mrs. Sneddon, well, you may not know that Mrs. Sneddon was a foundation staff with us back in 2011, then went on to other schools, and three years ago came back and joined our maths department. You all know her for her incredible dedication to each of you who's in her classes and the other year 11s here as well, as she sought to get you all your 10 numeracy credits as well as helping you in numerous other ways. And finally, Mr. Chanda Kay, who has been with us for seven years, I think it's seven years, and leading our maths curriculum area. You know Mr. Chanda Kay is the teacher who went to NASA this year who won the Outstanding Teacher of the Year Award for, for New Zealand. You've known him for his innovation, innovative and exciting maths classes and interesting things that he's continued to do. He's not going far away, he's just going across the, across the driveway actually to almost a junior college, so we may well see him across here doing some things as well. So I would like you to join me and um, thanking these teachers as, and wish them well as they journey to other places, other schools, where they will continue to guide and instruct young life. So let's wish them well and thank them. At this point, I would like you to stand and give a round of applause to all your teachers and staff here who have done so much for you this year. Don't leave today without saying something you'd like to say to them. So let's stand and give your teachers a round of applause for you. And I think Stan, you can see that they really mean that. Yeah, that's a really, that was a really good vote of thanks and a really good applause, guys. Now, to you and the two months of holidays ahead. Whether you have a holiday job, are travelling near or far, are helping your family with Christmas celebrations and relatives visiting, please look after yourselves and look out for those around you. We know at this time that some of you have family in Samoa and you'll be concerned about them as the spread of measles continues. Our thoughts are with you and the many families that are affected by this outbreak. At this holiday season, as we are celebrating and relaxing, take time to mention, to think about those who maybe are less fortunate maybe be able to give a donation to the Auckland City Mission or some other charity that for less fortunate people. So just think about others as well. And there may be times during this holiday break when you feel a bit bored or lonely. Holidays are funny like that. You look forward to them for ages and then there are some days you wonder what to do. So consider contacting a friend reaching out and suggesting doing something together, even if it's just a walk in the park or a trip to the mall. Reaching out can make a huge difference to somebody's day. Think about being a friend these holidays. Check in with others and be inclusive. 
That way, you'll not only make your own day, but someone else's as well. About friendship, a 12th century Jewish philosopher said, don't walk in front of me, I may not follow. Don't walk behind me, I may not lead. Walk beside me and be my friend. What this philosopher had to say about friendship back then is very similar to what we consider friendship now. A friend is someone who walks alongside, someone who can be your companion, someone who has your back, is there in good times and bad, someone to share life's journey with for the whole way or part of the way. It's not a tick on Facebook or a follow on Instagram. This summer, reach out and be a friend. And also, reach out when you need a friend. There's a well-known song from a few decades ago called Lean On Me, which says, lean on me when you're not strong, I'll be your friend, I'll help you carry on. I encourage you to keep contact with each other over the holidays. Stay connected is one of the best ways to keep mentally healthy. We look forward to seeing you back here at the end of January. You'll get an email and it'll be on the, on the website the exact dates that you're due in. So enjoy your holidays. Thank you for a great year. We look forward to you being Year 12 in 2020. Thank you. Our awards for Year 11 Assembly are based on our eight norms, which we use every day to define our learning and behaviour, as well as recognising the excellence uh, in, present, in presenting at our showcase day this year. Our norms represent the following qualities. Resilience, creativity, building strong relationships, critical curiosity, making connections with the wider world, growing as a learner, being a contributing member of our community, and valuing culture and the environment. We also have a category of awards for those students who have shown ex exceptional evidence of engagement and presentation skills during the end of year semester, so, uh, semester showcase. Um, I'm just going to add to this that the norms awards that we're giving out first are school-wide awards. So the people receiving these awards are up against year 12 and 13 students as well. They, those awards were presented for our year 12 and 13 uh, earlier on this term. But we've waited till this time to acknowledge the year 11s who have reached that criteria. So these norms awards are very prestigious and it's more likely that these awards will go to year 12 and 13. I'm going to explain some of the awards when we get to them, even though there are no recipients at year 11. Uh, it is not that you are not good in those areas, it is that they are very prestigious awards and the, uh, the criteria for receiving them is of a very high standard. So if you do receive, or if you do hear of people who receive these awards, the Norms Awards, um, please understand that they have done an incredible achievement to get that. Our first, first award category is Kaipatea. As you can see on the, on the board there, uh, Kaipatea is I, I strive to always achieve my best no matter how hard things are. Um, I'm able to persevere. For this category of award, we acknowledge students that have either gained sporting excellence or academic excellence in the calendar year. These sportsmen and women have represented Auckland at national tournaments and age group reps um, this year. And the recipients this year are Kyle Anderson, Alicia Chu, David Kim, Carmen Lim and Jerusalem Tyler. If your name is on the board, can you come down, please? <laughs> so Kyle receives his award for Taekwondo. <coughs> Uh, we have Alicia had her award for swimming, David and Carmen for golf, and Jerusalem for rugby. <laughs> the next group of awards is for Kakatea Academic Excellence. 
it was decided that this year we would acknowledge those Year 11 students who have gained 15 or more Level 2 Excellence credits. Considering the number of credits that you were um, going for this year, to gain 15 credits at Excellence at Level 2 is an incredible accomplishment. The winners this year, Amy Fu, Amanda Lee, Isabella Lim, Trish Krishna, and Manbir Singh. If your name is important, you please find out. Sorry, it's Isabel, not Isabella. <laughs> I would just like to acknowledge Manbia in his absence because he has been doing a large number of Level 2 subjects um, and has actually been doing calculus uh, scholarship this year. Um, and he gained 39 credits at Excellence. Now, he's been doing all Level 2 and 3 subjects, so it's no surprise, but He's not here because he's been on full exam leave all year. Our next category of awards are Harakiki. This award is given to students who have been exceptional in supporting the learning of their fellow students in several different areas in school life. So to do this you have to have been acknowledged by teachers who feel that your, your contribution to others' learning um, has been significant in more than one area of school life. We have two Year 11 winners this year, which is highly unusual, and those students are Bilal Jawadi Our next category of awards is care. And when these things come up, I hope you're thinking about how you may strive to achieve these next year as your 12 students. So the care is all about critical curiosity, and the award goes to people who have extended their learning beyond the scope of what is required. Uh, so that means they have gone above and beyond in seeking out their own learning opportunities. Unfortunately, both of our recipients are not here today. One is sick, um, and the other is maybe a so uh, our winners were Manbia and Krishna uh, Krishna Tishna. <laughs> oh, right Papatunaku. The award for Papatunaku goes to students who have shown leadership and culture or the environment. This year's two recipients have made a great contribution in developing their culture during their time at Ormiston. Again, this is un unusual for these awards to go to some Year 11 students. I mean, a lot. Pukeko to create. Receive, uh, people who win this award have produced a single piece of work that is at an industry standard, which means that that piece of work is uh, of a quality that could be published um, or that people would pay to see. Uh, unfortunately, our recipient is not here today, but our winner uh, was Celine Bui, who won for her magazine from Media Studies, which was of such a high standard um, that it needed to be acknowledged. Can we just clap for her? <laughs> Our final three groups do not have any recipients at Year 11. As I said, this is not unlikely. 
but it does give you something to think about and aim for. They are Mokoroa, Pungawirawiri and Waka. Mokoroa is for exceptional growth as a learner. If you have struggled this year, or if you are continuing to extend yourself and you improve next year and grow as a learner across several areas of the school, you are likely to receive this award. Ponga Wirawiri is for making connections with the wider world. So taking the learning that you have from school and applying it to a context that is out of school. Those of you who have done bronze Jukavet and continue on to silver or gold, uh, gold Jukavet definitely gets acknowledgement, quite often silver will get acknowledgement depending on the contribution to the community they've done. And Waka is for exceptional school involvement. There are several of you who will be student leaders next year, but that is not your only opportunity to be involved in the leadership of the school. Take those opportunities uh, next year and strive for these awards for the end of 2020. That's the end of the awards section. Well done to those people who have received awards. We will now have a performance by Kiani Pereira, who will perform, perform her original composition called Common Sense.
now have a few special awards. Um, the first one is for Kaydek. As you know, all know, part of our school has a deaf provision, and we're very proud to give a special award to a student who has achieved wonderful results this year at Ormiston. The Kaydek inaugural cup goes to Yuan Tsai. He works independently, cooperatively, and diligently at all times, being profoundly deaf. It is difficult to access information and participate in extracurricular activities, but this young man has competed successfully for O. Ormiston and the badminton team, and he demonstrates all the Ormiston norms throughout his learning. Well done. special awards after Tuesday's showcase. Um, we would like to recognize a few students for their outstanding contributions at the show showcase on Tuesday. The following students are being acknowledged for the, impressive, for the impressive presentations. These students showed knowledge of key concepts and our school norms and were nominated by their peers and also by teachers via the form, the online form. On, on Tuesday. First one, Wasan Abunada, Carl Anderson, Geneva Ben, Laura Blanco Estrada, Sammy Kazaris Hussein. That's the first view. Fajan, Anna Ramsey, Robert Scott, and Dylan Sutton. students nominated by teachers for their exceptional engagement during the presentations. These four students are Tian Burke, Vishan Chan, Colin Lee, and Isabel Lim. to the end of another great year at Ormiston and we hope you all have an amazing holiday, come back, rest, all rested. <coughs> However, we're going to finish with a few closing comments as a karakia by Mr. Opada, but before he does that, we understand that you love the school and you'd ha love to hang around here in the cafe until 6 o'clock tonight. <laughs> However, we would love you to 
as soon as the karakia is finished, exit via the front or back doors and safely leave the premises and go and enjoy every minute of your holiday. There's just a small handful of students who would like to stay behind in the cafe. Don't worry, I'm not going to clean up. Uh, Miss uh, Mrs. Anderson would like to talk to the students who applied for the Trades Academy because she's only just had confirmation half an hour ago. And she needs to urgently talk to the handful of students who have applied for the Trades Academy. Rest of you, enjoy your holiday straight away after the Karakia. Thanks. <laughs> So through the, the blessings of whoever you and your family are considered to be the creator, uh, best wishes to you all. Uh, Topi nei tu he mihi nui pia koutou i tēnei wā um, Hei whakakapi, uh, poru poru waki hoki, uh, tamatu uh, hui uh, Te koupapo o tēnei tau hoki So just some closing words and um, blessings um, to close out again um, Kia ora nei whakaaro, uh, me tiro pai tēnei tau I, uh, I kitea ngā kaiwako ki o koutou Hei whai te huarahi o te mātauranga um, he me peke me heke o koutou uh, mātauranga Ngā ako hoki uh, i rotu te kaupapa te kura So the, the, the teachers have uh, watched with uh, great delight and pride And seen the development of our year 11s um, Through the year, nō rei re kia kaha kia koutou Nō rei re kia koutou ngā rangatī raha ia pōpō Hei whai te, uh, te tau uh, rua te kau, rua te kau Mai te kaupapa o te kaumaru, kia kaha, kia mai, kia mai nui. So as you approach uh, 2020 and year, year, year 12, the school offers their blessings to you all. Um, kia kaha mo koutou a wā raumati, te wā hararei. Uh, Ahako e, e, e haere e noho ki o koutou a whānau me te, te, te pare hoki, kia kaha, kia mai, kia mai nui. So enjoy the summer, regardless of uh, whether you are going somewhere for the holidays or staying at home for the holidays. Okay, uh, the way, 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 So let that be a place of time. Kia koutou, me o koutou whānau and whānau, for you and your families. Uh, Kei te mōhe arau e, e haere uh, e tehi ngā, uh, ngā whānau, uh, ki wiwi, ki wā wā, Nera me pai o koutou hae nga. Kei te mōhe au, a hae a Mr. Kwaki ki Amerika. Ko Ms. Bartohi ki Ahi Kareria, Ms. Faisley ki PP, o koutou ngā tamariki ki Amerika hoki. So, me pai ki o koutou hae nga ki tahu o koutou hae nga. So I'm aware that uh, Mr. Mr. Botting is uh, off later on this evening to the deepest, darkest uh, winter of America. Um, some of our teachers are heading for, uh, for summer spots. I understand that some of the, uh, some of your students are also heading overseas. Maybe doing it well with your uh, with your families. Me pai ki o koutou hae nga. Te noho hoki, te noho hango hoki ki o koutou whare. So whether you are going for holidays or at home, Hei wai māri e ki o koutou. Ki te tahu ki o koutou whānau. So, do you well or enjoy the summer alongside your families? Me o koutou hoa hoki, as one of your friends. Nō rei re kaore e tūpunu nui, tūpunu oro. I tēnei wā te karakia, hei whakakapi tā mātou tau. Whai muri o tērā, ari tōtou. So, not too much more to say. Enjoy the summer. I'm going to bless us all with a kind of care and let's hope us all a uh, safe uh, summer and then to be free to go. Tēnā tātou katoa. Um, e tōku kia koutou, tēnā spray. E te atu kaha orawa, e inu e tēnei kia koe, kia koe te tīmata, te pakumita ngā ngā mea katoa. 
e tonu kia koe te atua hei afi, hei manapi, hei whakaaro ho ki a mātou i tēnei wā te wā harerei, te wā raumati a me o tātou hairinga, me o tātou nuhuanga i rotu i te kāinga e tonu kia koe hei afi, hei manapi, hei whakaorawa orawai ki a tātou i tēnei wā Nō rea, kia koe te tīmata, kia koe te whakamutanga o ngā mea katoa e tonu mātou koki anō hei afi, hei manapi, hei manapi, hei manapi Me waimārie ki a koutou ngā rangatīra hei a pōpō i tēnei wā. Ko te tino hiehe o te kura, i kitea ki a koutou i te hoki mai ki te kura a te rātou. He tono ki a koe, he tono araba, he tono manaki ki a koe, nō rea kuihu kuraiti, hoka te mātaua i ki. Āmen. Āmen. Māori ora ki a tātou. May you have a blessed summer. and